I'm Mike Chen. Motorsport has always been part of my life. I remember the first time I sat in a cart and my first ever race. I now work in television and have been given a challenge. Join me on an epic journey as I prepare to compete on one of the toughest events on the World Rally Championship calendar, Wales Rally GB. With some help from the very best in the business, I have to understand the differences between circuit racing and rallying. 60 slow, it causes small pressure down, two right plus. I must learn pace notes, get fit, and master the art of driving on slippery mud and gravel. This is going straight sideways. Previously on Going Straight Sideways. I caught up with Mads Osberg at Rally Deutschland for a ride in his Ford Fiesta World Rally car. Okay, now I will scare you. <laughs> Before travelling to the Phil Price Rally School in Wales to pass the testing requirements to gain my rallying competition licence. We're going rallying! My co-driver Richard and I have worked hard on learning pace notes and have put those lessons to the ultimate test. <laughs> Citroen factory star Craig Breen dished out some expert tips on how to handle a front-wheel drive rally car. I have to say, hand on heart, I was seriously impressed with it. And I've explored the differences between circuit racing and rallying. Circuit racing is a little bit like going out for your second anniversary meal with your wife. You know what's going to happen. Whereas rallying is a little bit more like an internet date. And with the help of Elf and Evans, Rich and I completed 15 miles of testing in our M Sport Fiesta R2 rally car before packing up and heading for Wales Rally GB. had been an incredible adventure just getting to that point but in so many ways the adventure was only just beginning. Rally GB always serves up something special at the end of the year. Rally is something very special. When it comes to GB it's tricky, it's slippery. Drivers have a lot of respect for this event. It's a special place to come to drive a rally car. When you're doing your first rally, you just don't worry about the times or the speed. You need to enjoy it firstly, uh, but secondly, if you can get to the finish on a, on a challenging rally like this, that'd be a big achievement. I'm excited to see what he can do behind the steering wheel. Just enjoy, try to cross the finish line of the first stage and on the whole rally if you can. Well, I know him since a very long time. He will go as fast as he can, as long as he can, but for sure there will be a couple of mistakes, so uh, it will be nice to see. Flat out, and if you're not fastest, I want to know why. I wish he enjoys and uh, he can see the finish line, that's important. You won't forget this experience, whatever happened. So here we are, Wales Rally GB. It's all come round very quickly. It's been a hell of a steep learning curve. Three days of hardcore rallying ahead of us, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, but first of all, we've got the ceremonial start. Car number two, five, eight. This is Mike Chen and Richard Milner in their full Fiesta. It was such a privilege going over the start ramp and, and I remember feeling that I was taking part in something really, really special. Yeah. 
So the evening before Rally GB began and it occurred to myself and Rich we'd never actually practiced changing a tyre. So the M Sport team put together a little challenge where we would go up against their factory drivers at the time, Mads Osberg and Eric Camilli. Mads, what, what we're going to do, jump out, all the gear to the front, you change your front right, yeah, we'll do the front left, tyre goes back in the boot, boot closed, both of you back in the car, door shut, whoever shuts the door first wins. Yeah, OK. What's the fastest you've done it? One minute ten seconds, something like that. One minute like ten. That. One ten. Well, you're going to need to go one nine today, Pedro. No problem. We, we are going to lose this. OK, this is going to be embarrassing. Three, two, one, go. Wait, man, how'd you get the wheel out? How'd you even get the wheel out? Hey! Give me a socket. Oh, did I steal your socket? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. There you, there you go. You can have that. You are a <laughs> Yeah. This isn't going well. Come on. Go, on. go trip him up or something. God. Wait. Have they finished? Yeah, they're not. Just get it in. Go on, go on, go on. Okay, okay, okay. At least you're prepared now. You're going to stop a lot on the rally to do this. <laughs> well done, mate. Have a good, good weekend. Driving, yeah? Have a good weekend, fellas. Enjoy. Thank you. I, I think we did all right, Rich. Yeah, thank you. Friday morning. Feeling all right. A little bit tired. Woke up in the middle of the night and couldn't get back to sleep. I'm not sure if it was nerves or excitement. I'm a head mechanic uh, of the car and I need to speak with Jenny and Richard and to find a, to find a solution of, the, of all the issues during the rally and prepare that car for, uh, for a high performance. You know, if you add up all of the testing that we've done, it still doesn't total the, the, the full length of the first stage. We've got a nice long drive out, so leave the service park into the first time control, follow the road book down to the first stage, which is about 75 miles away. It'd be quite a long day, quite a tough day, and it's a good, it's a very challenging start, but um, the, the good thing is having that run down there to get prepared and have a chat with each other and calm the nerves. I remember pulling up at the start line and feeling incredibly nervous. The weather was grim, it was raining. We'd heard from the team that the stage was incredibly foggy and more than that, it was incredibly slippy. So we knew that we were in for a real challenge. Three, two, one, go. 300. Six right. 130. Two left plus over small crest. Into flat right. So into flat right. 40. Four right. 60. Caution. Two left. Crest. One right. Two left. Crest. One right. Oh, go on. Now on people there. Into four left. As we were picking our way through the stage, there were cars that had gone off all around us, and some of them were well in the ditch, so it was a constant reminder to me of how tough the conditions were. One left, don't cut. 170. Square right, don't cut. Plus, slow down, keep it on. Square right, plus, don't cut. Where are we going? Square right. Right. Yeah. We're not getting through there. Go on, you've got to go through there where they are. Come on. 
100, four left, don't cut. And five right, half long, tightens at the end. Five right, half long, tightens at the end. Calm down now, calm down. Five and tightens at the end, tightens at the end. And three left, 170. As we were coming towards the end of the stage, I was starting to get into the groove uh, when Rich called a one right and I went left. 60, caution turn one right over bump. So four right, 60, caution turn one right, one right over this bump. Six, yeah. yes, one right. One right. <laughs> Come on, listen. In there, one right. Spin it round up here. Where are we going? That one way. right. This way? Yes. Come on. When Mike went left instead of right, I got pretty frustrated. Uh, unfortunately, my inner competitive self came out and I knew that we were actually doing better than we both expected. So, unfortunately, I was maybe a bit too strong. Portion six left, small crest and down, hairpin left plus. Hairpin left plus. Come on, mate, bring it back now. Listen, you can do this. And four left, and caution two right. Caution two right, 40. Keep right through the post, turn square left. One fifty. Hairpin right plus over finish. Get it tidy. Hairpin right plus over finish. Okay, stop. Hold on. Getting to the end of that first stage was just sheer relief. Hello, mate. Well done, Richie. That was the toughest time I've ever had in the seat of anything, unquestionably. We, within the first 100, 200 metres, we would already passed two cars that had dropped it, probably six or seven altogether that were out, and it was just fog, you just couldn't see anything. Three left plus long at the end. I'm just chuffed that we've got Meheran out of the way now and we've learned it. That was the toughest time we've had in the car, without a doubt. Zero grip, zero visibility. We've got crack on. Throughout the remainder of day one, we started working better and better, getting quicker and quicker, and we were actually working our way up the timesheets. Eighty. Six right, don't cut. Middle of a big crest jump, this is one to be careful on. One hundred. Forty. Four right chicane, immediate. Four right chicane, right entry, straight through, see? And caution, three left tightens. Middle over jump, into water splash, into three left through post and flat crest. thinking we'd be anywhere near competitive and day one you told us we're fourth in class we're like wow it's been a really tough day you know we've had mist fog uh, wet slippery conditions with proper rally gb 100 small crest slippy three right i can't small see small crest all right just concentrate the only thing we want to do is just get to the finish on sunday and that's it so i'm happy you know, honestly, we've had a really, really good day. I think um, to get to where he's got tonight, I think you know they've done, they've done a great job. Tomorrow, I think uh, the stages will 
probably suit them a little bit more, they're a little bit faster and hopefully they're a little bit drier condition. Um, so I would imagine today, you know, he's been very nervous, hasn't wanted to make a mistake. Obviously we don't want him to make a mistake tomorrow either, but, um, you know, if he carries on the way he is, stays out of trouble, then for sure I think he could, um, I don't see any reason why he can't finish on the podium in the class. This part of England is not so easy. When it's mud or wet, it's very slippery and uh, you need a very soft tire. But when it's dry and hard, you need a hard tire. This is the main problem because it's a long way and the weather can change during the day. It's more difficult here than in other places. This is a gravel tire that we use here. So by regulation, you can use 18 tires. This is regulation, you cannot use more. As you can see, it's very aggressive. This part is for the traction, and this lateral is for the lateral grip also. So we have to avoid all the small gravel, you know, and uh, the loose and the, the mud and everything. So that's why it's open. And this time we have in two compounds, one hard and one soft, exactly the same. Structure, pattern, exactly the same, just the compound chain. I mean, day two, yesterday was quite tricky. Yep. Because it was so um, so misty and horrible yesterday, I uh, I thought I'd get something to prepare us just in case we have any kind of similar um, issues this weekend. So, <laughs> just in case it rains. And then if you just... <laughs> That is comedy genius. Brilliant. I like that. It's a bit annoying, but I mean, if we break the windscreen, I'm going to be all right. You're, you're going to be in a bit of trouble. That's it. That's amazing. I actually got a little present for you as well. Give me that. Okay. You don't need that anymore. I will. I will need that. No, you won't. Wow. Have a look at that. Wow. That's, That's for you. I'm look. not quite sure that guy that we just went past knew what was going on. Look at the state of you. That is incredible. Do you like it? Do I love it. I feel right at home here. I mean, I'm ready for every eventuality Wales can throw at us now. Oh, it works. Does it work? Oh, it works. Yes. Spirits were really high in the car, but as we progressed through the stages on day two, we learned one of the harsher sides of rallying. 40, crest, 200. Middle of a small jump, 60, crest bump and four left. So 60 over the other side, crest bump, four left. 270. Puncture, something's not right, Rich. We're gonna have to change this tire, Rich. Okay. Okay, we'll pull over over there, yeah? Over yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't begin to describe the feeling when we got that puncture. It was just pure frustration. You realise the value of a second instantly and they're just ticking by and you're fighting for tenths of a second with people. And then one second goes by and two seconds and then cars started to come past us. And well, we knew at that stage that any chance of a podium at Rally GB was gone. As I got back into the car, I realised my belt had been pulled back through the seat and it got caught in the back of the car, which meant I had to get back out again. It takes more time to undo it and free the belt, which cost us another couple of minutes. I was gutted. Over finish. And stop. Okay. We 
picked up a front left puncture uh, and we drove on it for about what, a mile and a half, two miles until there was nothing left of the tyre so we had to stop and change it. Sadly there's no result now, this is the way it is, so we'll just go back to service and um, yeah, prep for tomorrow. It was a tough day. Yesterday was almost too good to be true, probably. You know, we had fog yesterday, rain, slippy conditions. Now we've had a puncture, so we are experiencing everything you can experience in a rally. So it's been quite actually quite uh, quite a challenge and um, good fun. 60, turn five right, don't cut. Up the hill, 80. Mike's really starting to get a hang of the car now. He's done the hard work now. He's done the two tough days. Tomorrow's the shorter day. Um, there's still a, a big opportunity for something to happen, so he just needs to really concentrate to get to the end because it would be a real shame for some reason that didn't happen. There's three stages left, and the objective was to get to the finish. I can tell you, if, if I get there, there will genuinely be a massive lump in my throat because we, we never thought it would happen, and um, that's way more than anybody could have expected. So that's the plan today, just to get the car across the finish in one piece. Three, two, one, go. 40, four right. Into one left plus long. 150 over small crest. Two right. Two left. 60, four left half long, don't cut. 200, repeat four left half long, don't cut. 200. Middle over crest bump, 130. Middle over crossroads, into hairpin right, don't cut. Hairpin right here? Yeah, hairpin right, come on, listen to me. And five right. 40, four left. So caution, four right over the crest, then one left. And two right opens long, slippy. And four left long over small crest. Into turn square left, don't cut. Turn square left at the bottom, don't cut, here. Stall. Okay, okay. Go on. Just gentle reverse, reverse, reverse. Okay. 60. Five right, don't cut. Through the dip, right entry chicane, tidy over the finish. Good, mate. Yeah, it was tidy apart from the store. One more to go, Richie. One more. Final stage of Rally GB. Five miles of Brennig to run, and then we're, um, we've done it. And I'm probably more nervous now than I have been at any stage of this project, at any stage of this adventure. Fingers crossed I don't balls it up now. Five, four, three, two, one, go. 40, six left over small crest. 40, five left, into five right. 40, four left long, and six right. Six left, and six left, 40. One right long, we'll careful car off ground here somewhere. Got it. One left. One left. 40. Square left half long. Into six right long. 60. Six right long, then 60. Then this is the very slippery one. Where, where, where is here, it? Here, here. Where am I going? Arrows, round the bale. Come on. You know where you're going. You didn't call it that crest bump into two right half long. Don't cut over the finish up here. And stop. Done? Done, mate. Well done. Well done, pal. Well done, we did it. <laughs> Good adventure. Oh, mate. That was tough. I got a lump in my throat, mate. <laughs>
and we've had everything thrown at us this weekend. Fog, mud, dirt, punches, stools. Oh. Missed pace notes. Lost pace <laughs> notes, everything. Well done, mate. Good job. <laughs> We're just hearing Mike and Rich have actually made it to the end of the rally. What are your thoughts? No way. They finished. Every stage. Every stage. No way. Uh, yeah, hats off. What can I say? It's been a hellishly tricky rally. Uh, so slippery and tricky, but yeah, for for the first time for him, that's uh, I would mark that down as a good result. Uh, I'll not tell him that, but it's only between you and me. But uh, yeah, uh, fair play. I don't know if the driver was that good or the co-driver was that good to help the driver to stay on the road, but uh, at least uh, they make a nice couple and uh, they did a good job. You remember I told you, if you finish the first stage, it's already a victory. You finish the whole rally really well done. Maybe you have a new car in front of you. I'm just like properly delighted, like properly, properly happy. It's just been an adventure from, you know, when you look at what we, was, what we did at the start when we had we were going to Phil Price's place and Phil helped us out a huge amount. Finished the stage. Hey, nice drive, you enjoy that. That's real good. Sat in your front room playing computer games, just trying to get the hang of it. It's just been an absolute adventure and I really genuinely didn't think we would make it to the end. I thought the car would end up in a ditch somewhere and, uh, and it hasn't done, so I'm, I'm properly, properly pleased. Rally!